Alright, I get to talk about Allison Road again, fuck yeah! So for anyone who doesn't know already, Allison Road, an indie, next-gen, first-person survival horror game, which is very reminiscent of PT in its feel, in the way it looks. Now, I don't know about the way it plays, we haven't seen enough of it yet to say that, however... What we can say is this, Allison Road is looking to be one of the best next-gen horror games of the last few years. I mean, we've already had games like Layers of Fear come out, now that's in early access, but it was still awesome. Soma looks fantastic, now we have Allison Road. You know, I, I gotta tell you, the more I read about Allison Road, the more excited I become. This game looks so damn incredible. The fact that this is being put together by a mere 10 people, I think, 10 people are putting this together. It looks incredible. The atmospheric horror that this game is bringing to the table is like nothing that we've seen before, at least not in the last couple of years. PT was the last time that we saw atmospheric horror done in this way, in this claustrophobic, tight household setting where there's only a few places you can go, but you're gonna visit those places whether you like it or not, and whatever's in there, tough shit, it's yours to deal with. So the game is now on Kickstarter. As of right now, they are currently asking for $388,281. Now that's of course in dollars, in uh, British pounds that is $250,000. So that's the exchange rate right now, and of the $388,000 that it needs, it has currently made $163,999. Come on guys, pledge one more dollar, we can get it to 64. So the game is pretty much a little bit more than halfway done to being funded. There's 23 days ago. I am of the belief that this game is going to be funded without a doubt. It's going to meet its stretch goals. And we are going to have true survival horror once again. Now, now that I have an opportunity to talk about Allison Road again, I do want to present one of my theories for the game. Now, in some of the artwork that we've seen for Allison Road, it shows three houses. One of the houses is completely lit up. It's not a silhouette. These are drawings of houses, by the way. It's completely lit up. And in the second house, it's half lit up, and the other half of the house is completely dark. Now, the third house, this is interesting, the third house is completely dark. This leads me to believe that you are going to visit at least three houses during this game. Now, Chris Kessler did say during a Q&A session on YouTube that the game is not going to take place in that one house. I am of the belief that what he means by that is you are going to be on, you're going to be in multiple houses. There's going to be multiple areas for you to visit. I mean, the game is called Allison Road, not Allison House. There's going to be multiple areas for you to visit on this one street. That, to me, is what they're going to do. That is how they're going to make up for the fact that there's, there's going to be tight corridors, you know, in this single house, but... Without letting the game get, uh, you know, stale, dull, and boring, they're gonna have you visit multiple houses instead. So you'll have three different areas, all of which will be really tight and cramped, and that's gonna give plenty of opportunities for scares because you're not familiar with the area. That, to me, is what they're gonna do. I, that's what I think they should do, and that's, that's just what I'm gonna predict. That's what I'm predicting one of the core mechanics is going to be. You're gonna go from house to house. So, just the fact that I had an excuse to talk about Allison Road again, I am fine with that. But this is just to let everyone know that Allison Road is officially on Kickstarter, and I am excited as hell for this. I cannot wait to see what this game has to offer. I cannot wait to hear more from Chris Kessler. Guys, please go to Kickstarter. Back this project, because in my opinion, it deserves every penny that it is asking for.
I think this game is going to bring survival horror not only back to its roots, but it is going to throw it into the mainstream where it needs to be. Until then, my name is Mike from Coed Gaming, and I'm like a broken Xbox. I don't play no games with this shit. What's up guys, thanks so much for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you haven't gotten a chance to already, make sure to check out last week's video, which can be found right here. Also, if you haven't gotten a chance to already, make sure to like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter. And while you're at it, make sure to check out the rest of Coed Gaming, where we upload gaming videos every single week. And as always, game on.